Whether it's buying new music off iTunes, new lives on Candy Crush at the App Store, or even a new e-reader from Amazon, we're all pretty comfortable clicking purchase online. But how about for art worth hundreds of thousands of dollars? The Wall Street Journal's Eva Tam tells us who's willing to log on and press that buy button. So much art, so little time. To walk the world's famous art fairs, Asia's biggest in Hong Kong, London's largest equivalent, New York's own act for art aficionados. Enter Artsy, an art space based in New York. Online galleries that let you buy art from anywhere in the world. Some see this as a future for art sales. Very quick, uh, uh, very fast. You can search, you can compare. This is fantastic. It seems only logical that people would look at the art market and view it as the next logical step towards online sales. Artsy boasts 30,000 pieces of art, but not all are on sale through this middleman. Artspace also shows thousands of pieces, but it lets you buy right from the artist. Now, new startup Artshare, based in Hong Kong, hopes to make its own mark in 3D and with a personal touch. Alexandra Herrera is Artshare's founder. It's all about reassuring them, uh, showing them that the work physically exists, from condition reports, certificates of authenticity. Launched in early 2013, you can zoom in and around each piece. With a click, a deposit reserves your right to purchase. This Chinese painting by Yi Yonghan, Arshir's priciest, sold for $200,000. Arrera never met the buyer, who lives 6,000 miles away in London. Having reached those collectors in London, in New York, have quite established collections of Western art, but who are now looking at uh, Chinese art, is really the ultimate mission. And Herrera has a good start. At Arshir's premiere in April, more than half of his art was sold to New York and London-based collectors. But Oscar Ho, a curator for more than 15 years, says a serious collector should see the art with their own eyes before the big buy. I want a physical look on it. I want to feel it. And I want to see it in proportion to my body and my eyes. And looking at some work from the website, Quite frequently, you'd be quite disappointed when you see the actual work. Critics also complain a social element is lost when surfing for art online. The in-person sale is such a huge part of selling art. I mean, part of the reason why people buy art in many ways or choose to invest in art is because of the social component around meeting people, the parties, the events. I mean, look at how many people flew out to Hong Kong for Art Basel. This year, 60,000 people walked the halls of Hong Kong's biggest art fair, the near-record turnout, a sign that shows like this, will still be popular for some time to come, even with the ease of the click of a button. For The Wall Street Journal, this is Eva Tam.